Hello everybody and welcome to another quick car review here with the Bizzle Cars. In this series we show you the latest cars in the Middle East. We tell you a thing or two about them, but more importantly, we tell you what you need to know. I'm Chris and this is the 2021 Ram Rebel. So if you haven't noticed already, the Rebel is a full-size pickup truck, and it's a rather aggressive one too. Aggressive and muscular, I might add. Up front, we have a huge grill with RAM lettering that, of course, cools the massive engine that's underneath. We have LED headlights on either side with LED fog lights underneath, which conveniently are next to parking sensors. Muscular hood here with, again, air vents to keep that monstrous engine cool. On either side, we have off-road ready rubber, that encases black alloy rims. Amazing finish on those. Side steps make it easy to get in and out of the car. But one of the coolest features on this car is this right here. This is called a Ram box. And all I have to simply do is press the button and I have access to more storage. Not just the bed, but I have storage here too. So at the back, we have obviously access to the bed of the truck, which is what a pickup truck is for. Now, this one is quite interesting because it actually splits into two. On one side, it's 60. On the other side, it's 40. But I'll just show you the full way. So just pull it down here. It's quite heavy. And you can see in the back there, there's plenty of space, although the ram box on the other side do compromise it ever so slightly. But let me put it back up. It's kind of heavy, but at least it has some sort of assistance, so it's not too bad to put it back up. I mentioned before the side steps. Now they do make the car easy to get into and you can kind of see that it does have quite a bit of distance between the tire and the actual car, but Dodge have been very clever with this. They have a very interesting system which makes you lower the car. And all you have to do, you don't have to get in, you just have to simply press this twice and now the car comes to make it easier to get in and out of it. So up front in the Ram Rebel, we have space for two obviously and it's covered in premium black leather with the Rebel inserts here on the side. If you've got it on that side there, yeah, you can just see it there. It is powered on each side. This side doesn't have memory. No, it doesn't. So it's just power options here. The seating arrangements here, very comfortable. There's a lot of space inside of this truck, but of course you can see that by its sheer size. In its segment, the Ram Rebel has the most luxurious interior we've seen so far. We have plenty of high quality materials, including leather, metallic and rubber surfaces. There's a bit of plastic, but there's not too much of it. There's a very premium and luxurious feel inside here. Up front for the driver, we have a leather wrapped multifunction steering wheel. We have a analog slash digital tachometer, speedometer, and then we've got the screen in the middle. That's where the digital and analog parts come into it. But in the center console is what we really want to talk about here. This is the tablet sized infotainment system, which runs on Uconnect. And it's very intuitive and it's very fluid and it's very fast as well with plenty of applications. From the infotainment system, plenty of applications. Navigation, very quick, climate control, seat controls, but we have heated seats only, no cooled seats. A bit strange, but okay. We can even have a look at what the rear view camera sees as well, while the car isn't even in motion. The Ram Rebel has plenty of space. Doesn't matter what you do for a living, what you need to take with you, there's plenty of space. I'm not talking about outside the truck or the rear bench. I'm talking about inside the truck. The center console itself has like three different layers. It has one here that you can see visibly with the cup holders. There's a huge storage bin down here. We can pull that back. There's another one in here as well that goes down there with some papers that we don't really need. It even splits up here. And then, if you really want to show off, it even has some math here for you to do. So if you've got any math homework or your kids have math homework, cheat sheet right here. In the back, we have space for three. And again, it's black leather with white stitching. As you can see, there's plenty of legroom back here. This is an incredible truck, plenty of space all around. If we would just have two people here, we have the nice comfy armrest here with the two cup holders that we can put up. And then if you want extra storage in case the bed is full or the ram buckets are full, you literally just push this up and then you have your extra space down here. It's not a lot, but it's still extra space. Driving the ram, we have not a traditional gear lever that you'd find here or up here. Instead, we have a dial, which is very reminiscent to that dial. But this dial puts the car in gear. So we put it in drive and off we go. Now, I will say that the car has a factory lift kit that's from the dealer. And it also has off-road tires. So, of course, the road noise is a little bit more than what you'd expect. But this car is built for doing things off-road. So, of course, you're going to have to expect that. But in terms of 
sound deadening inside and sound insulation. The cabin is very quiet at high speeds. You don't feel too much of the road because the suspension is very soft. You don't feel too much on the road either. And that makes the Ram very easy to drive despite its sheer size. Under the bonnet, we have a massive V8 engine. And if I can figure out how to get the thing up, I got it. And there it is, 5.7 litre V8. It generates 395 horsepower and 410 foot pound of torque. And that will give you a huge payload of about 830 kilos and you can tow over 5,000. From a pricing point of view, you can get yourself a V8 Ram for about 189,900 dirhams. But if you want to upgrade to this one, this one costs 239,000 dirhams. And is it worth it? Well, yes, it is. And here's a few reasons why. It's a pickup truck that has an impressive towing capacity. It has storage bins all over the place and has space for the entire family. Not just that, it looks absolutely stunning. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.